All right. I really want to talk about this. We we talked about this on stream like a month ago ish, maybe a little bit longer. Magic the Gathering's doing a collab with Lord of the Rings, and part of the collab is they're releasing a one of one card called the One Ring. And it's a it's a cool looking card. Like I I'm I'm not gonna front. I've got my my gripes with Wizards of the Coast, but god damn it, they know how to make some cool looking cards. It, it's it's a cool looking card. It's a one of one. And that means they will only ever print one of these things ever. And right now, there is a $1 million bounty if someone pulls this card. But it only lasts until July 17th. That's, whoops, didn't mean to click the, didn't mean to click the link. But that's a crucial piece of information here. This is a very short time period to be pulling a one of one. So, what I and many others are speculating is that this whole bounty is a greedy ploy from Dave and Adams to sell as many of these boxes as possible in a short time frame because the likelihood that you pull the one of one within like three weeks of the cards coming out is so fucking unlikely. It is so unlikely. It'll probably be a couple of months before that card is pulled. And since they're only doing it for three weeks and it expires on July 17th, they probably don't actually plan on paying out a million dollars. So it's basically seeming like almost a scam, like, all right, buy our inventory quickly because you might win a million dollars because they're selling boxes. Like, here, look, you can grab a box from their website right here. They're posting it right there, right under it. So it seems like it's mainly to drive a ton of interest right off rip to buy boxes from them under the expectation that you have a chance at this card, which obviously the odds are astronomical, but also the time frame is damn near impossible. I would eat my fucking shoe if this card is pulled within the first three weeks of launch. That would be a huge blunder from Wizards if this card is pulled that quickly. I just think it's super unlikely. So it really just seems like they tried to choose a crazy number, a million dollars, to drum up hype instantly, sell a ton of boxes, and then not have to pay out the bounty because it's past the expiration date when it's eventually pulled. Didn't Post Malone say he was buying the card for one mil? Did Post say that? I didn't see him make a statement like that. This is the only thing I've seen for a bounty on the card so far. Time to clip it. No, I, I swear to God, I think there is a 0% chance this card gets pulled within the first month. If it does, then Wizards of the Coast really fucked up. <laughs> like, they really fucked up. What if they already pulled the card and now nobody... What if they already pulled the card and knows nobody else can get it, so they put this bounty out to sell more boxes, five head? That is Galaxy Brain. That is very Galaxy Brain. Here's my speculation here. I'm getting real conspiratorial. I think Wizards of the Coast is a company that has shown time and time again they're not afraid to get a little swampy. They're not afraid to do some scummy shit. I would imagine they will seed the card. They're not going to just blindly ship this card out in a random box for fucking Old Pop Wiggleberry and Bumblefuck Nowhere to pull and never speak about online. The whole point of the card is someone will pull it and it will be huge PR when it's pulled. There'll be articles written about it. There'll be interviews with the guy who pulled it. There'll be tons of media press around it. And I think Wizards knows that. I don't think they would let some random guy who pulled it, like, just squat on it. Like, Because there's a chance that some guy could pull this card, not know what it is, and just put it in his binder, never to be seen again. And then Wizards gets nothing out of it. So I really think there's going to be some foul play. I think when this card is pulled, it's going to be by either a YouTuber, a streamer, or someone deep in the community already. I don't think it's going to be just some random nobody. I know it's not legal to do that. That is very much illegal. But how would you ever prove it? How would you how would you prove it? Is the resub give up malls in Sheffy?
true, and if you do prove it, they'll call the Pinkertons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who's gonna investigate them? Wizards of the Coast just fucking sicked the Pinkertons on a YouTuber who accidentally got boxes two weeks early. You think they're gonna let someone investigating their one ring shenanigans get away? <laughs> no shot. Good point, yeah. Get ready for the fucking Pinkertons if you try and open some kind of investigation. <clears throat> Things are just <coughs> sketchy, chill, rude, and MLG. A hundred percent Vanguard, yeah. Things are doing. I don't think wizards will allow any possibility of just some random fucking goblin pulling this card that doesn't understand the significance of it. They need whoever pulls it to talk about it. They need media around it. Otherwise, this whole thing was worthless for them. <clears throat> or actually, maybe not. Because if it never gets publicized that it was pulled, people will probably just endlessly buy the boxes. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong. They never made the card 1000 IQ. <laughs> yeah, it's all just fake. Oh, Danny had a banger idea. Like, I'm not gonna lie, you, you know how much I love trading cards. Like, and this is, this is cool in theory if it wasn't Wizards. I, I just really don't like Wizards with what they've been doing recently. Like, all the shit they've pulled against the community with D&D &D and all of that. And even, like, the 30th anniversary magic stuff. But I won't lie, this this got me tingling. And Danny had a banger idea. Like, if we pulled the card, <laughs> we'd, uh, like, hold it for ransom, like, way over a million dollars. Like, taking a flame to it. Like, if you don't pay up, it gets burned. Come on, nerds. A million to save the card? Not enough. Or do a subathon. Where, like, the flame is constantly, or it, the card is constantly inch, inching closer to a furnace. And every sub pushes the card a little bit away from the furnace to save it. So it's just always down this conveyor belt of destruction unless subs save it. <laughs> this is some crazy evil shit. Things a bit sketchy in the resub green, Ignarius, and Yuki Wee. As a card shop employee, I can assure you this will be found within days. Sports cards are popular in my shop, and a $100,000 bounty was recently claimed by an 11 year old kid in a small town in Ohio near me. I'd be willing to guarantee something similar is bound to happen with the magic card. I don't know, man. I know sport sports cards aren't too dissimilar. I, I totally get that. But this is Wizards we're talking about. I just don't think they would let this card be found that quickly. I really don't. He's a tier one Vanguard. I just really don't think Dave and Adams actually plans on paying this million dollar bounty because I really don't see a world where it gets pulled within three weeks of launch. I could be wrong. Like like I said, I very much could be wrong. Maybe it does work like sports cards and it gets pulled within the first week. I just don't see it happening. I really don't. Why don't you think it'll be pulled within the first week? Well, think about it. The only reason people are going to be buying these Lord of the Ring boxes, mainly, is to try and get that card. If that card is pulled within the first week, no one is buying another fucking Lord of the Rings box. Well, unless, of course, they planted some fucking crazy cards in there that changed the entire fucking metal like they did with the Walking Dead collab. You know, like, maybe. But fundamentally, this card gets pulled, sets dead.
This set actually has a bunch of bangers. Okay, admittedly I haven't seen all of the other cards yet. I just feel like there's no shot people will be buying it. At least not the way they were once the card gets pulled. How about that? How about that then? Thanks to give some pink mist in the resub. Bok Choi and Jocko. Are you going to go for it? I, I, I don't think so. I don't know, man. I just really don't want to be buying magic cards because of how mad Wizards been making me. I'm still not over all the D&D shit they pulled. Even though I'm not a big D&D guy, I still really respect D&D and enjoyed the campaign that I've done. I just think that kind of shit's unforgivable. And sicking the Pinkertons on the guy who got magic cards two weeks early. I just, I, I don't know. I can't in good conscience buy that, really. But fuck, I am tempted. Just on that slim astronomical chance that I somehow pull it. The ring calls everyone. Fucking true, man. It actually is just whistling parcel tongue into my ear. Is the resub username Dark Knight and Willemo? Would you wail if Konami did a one of one? For Yu Gi Oh, you mean? It would depend on the card entirely. Thanks the resub. Rara. There's some clammy. What item did you give Sea Dog for the charity auction? Am I allowed to say? I don't know if I'm allowed to say. It's one that I think a lot of people will like, though. Not only is it, like, special to me, but it's also just a valuable item in general. But I don't know if I'm allowed to say what it is yet. Things are some Star Destroyer. <clears throat> Other creators are saying what it is on Twitter. I haven't seen that. I just saw people like hinting at what it could be. Thanks, Risa Broody. I'll just wait. You'll see it during the auction. <clears throat> I think Connor's putting on a really cool charity event. Signed copies of every Godslap issue? No, I didn't want it to turn into self-promo during a fucking charity event. <laughs> no. Plague Seeker and Godslap are very important to me, but that just seems like I'd be promoting my shit during his charity auction. So no, it's, it's, not, it's not anything like that. What does the One Ring card actually do in the game? I can't remember. This is a one of one, so it's not going to be used in the game. But there is a One Ring card that is just normal print in the game, and I can't remember what it does. Is there some Butters, John, Rudy, and No Hope? Is the Prime Pussy? You ever do? You ever down to do another D and D campaign? We're actually building an entire D and D set in the back building of our warehouse. We're gonna try and make like a fucking banger campaign. Yeah, with like a real DM, not not one of us doing it. But yeah, it seems like so much fun. I really enjoyed the last time we did it. 
shame about the DM, but the actual time had was great. So yeah, we're going to get pretty serious about it.